Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we're going to talk about the committee and uh, where it goes from here. What's next? Because they've done a pretty good job of following the, the template. And they have demonstrated their evidence and their belief that Trump knew his claims about the election were false. Then they demonstrated their evidence and belief that Trump knew the pressure campaign against Pence was illegal. They've done a really good job of this. So, so good, in fact, DOJ has reportedly been like, yeah, we're going to need those transcripts. Um, and the reasoning they gave for requesting them is that it might be relevant to upcoming investigations and some prosecutions they have already decided to undertake. One of those very rare signs that we get that the Department of Justice is actively working behind the scenes. Now, personally, and I haven't seen this brought up, but I have a hunch that there are going to be other requests for the evidence that the committee has put together. From prosecutors at the local level, not federal prosecutors, but prosecutors working on cases at the state level, right? Um, I, I would imagine that that's going to happen. Okay. So, where does the committee go from here? They're doing well. What are the next phases? What we can uh, kind of guess is that soon we will see their evidence and belief that Trump sought to influence state and local officials through a campaign, right? Those in Trump's orbit at the White House, those advisors, they set out to do this. Now, my guess is what they're going to try to illustrate is that the grievances that Trump used to push his January 6th narrative and try to halt the certification are grievances that the White House arranged to have manufactured at the state level. You want to talk about something that is going to bring a conspiracy home that's it. And I think that's what they're going to try to show. That the Trump White House pressured the state and local officials to generate these claims, to back them up. So I think we'll see that uh, probably this week. And if they have time, they will probably also get into the campaign from Trump circle to pressure the Department of Justice into declaring the election wrong, corrupt, broken, whatever. Um, this campaign, as far as I know, was pretty unsuccessful. But, I mean, there are surprises in the hearing, so we'll, we'll see. Um, so I think we'll see that coming up shortly because that would be one of the next puzzles that needs to get into place the next puzzle piece. Um, and then I'm waiting for uh, something to recapture viewers' imaginations. So I'm going to imagine that they'll probably break with the chronological approach um, and talk about what was going on in the White House during the events of the 6th, focusing very heavily on text messages from that day and shortly thereafter. This is to, once again, reignite, oh, did you hear what the committee said? Did you hear what came out of the committee and get people talking about it again? And to, uh, I don't know, knock the opposition around a little bit. There are a lot of rumors about things that were said via text by pretty high-profile people about each other. And these are people who, at the moment, are pretending to be allies. And they said some things about each other that, well, you wouldn't say about your allies. I have a feeling we're going to see that soon. Um, 
and they'll they'll bring it up to further break down the resolve of those holdouts, those people who don't want to admit that you know everybody knew it was a sham and they were just trying to cling to power after they were defeated. Uh, I would imagine that's going to come pretty quickly uh, because that will help. It'll help the committee, and it will also help the Department of Justice. And I have a feeling at this point, the committee has realized that their public presentation might help the Department of Justice get the interviews and cooperation that it needs. So that's what I'm guessing we're going to see from now till the end of the month. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.